Wet Jungle Beaks. My name is uh, Skipper, Skipper, Skipper Long John uh, Dongarino. Don I'm Alexander Sandals, and we are Together Jungle Beaks, Australia's plug to the wisest cringe in the country. And finishing each other's sentences. Andre 2000 dropped a uh, second track. Look, Ma! No hands. So, look, Ma, obviously owed to his mum, his previously right, so... deceased mother. Mm -hmm. We're going to get straight into it. Because it's a long track, and I won't even tell you how long. Eight minutes? I'm, I'm interested to see how much of this will be instrumental. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Are you? Long tracks from Andre are normally good. Are you? I, gen I generally am. Did you pause it? Oh. Fucking love it. That's a, clar that's a clarinet. It's definitely setting a, a distinct oh, theme. A bassoon, sorry. You're a fucking bassoon. Ba ba boom. <laughs> blue butt ba boom. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why did you slap yourself? Because blue butt. You know, the boobs are blue butts. They're red butts. Red and blue. Red and blue. It's true. It's like a purple, really. That's if we had different colored butts. <laughs> like we do. Oh, skin oh yeah, true. <laughs> Like to a different body, like we could have like red butts, green butts, and pink butts, and yeah, blue butts. It'd be crazy, green butts. And it was like a um, it was a way of seducing mates. Oh, yeah, you just like shake your ass up next to them, the color, like change. Some would have like ridges and like little spikes and stuff. Good, good track. <laughs> a vivid imagination. You know, it reminds me of like a jazz bar or something. I just got a lot of jazz bars when I was younger. How, how long is it? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Can I give you some background right now? Yeah. So, according to Andre's Instagram, yes, he has an Instagram right now. Mm -hmm. James Blake played is playing the piano right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I so see he's playing the bassoon. The piano. No, no, but I said that Andre's playing the bassoon there. Someone is. Yeah. yeah. So James Blake and Andre 2000. Fuck! What a collab! What a collab! <laughs> Andre's trying to get his music in Gran Turismo. You ever play that game? That's fine. Yeah, 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 we've mentioned that before. The car racing game. Yeah, if you fuck up, you're yeah. fucked. <laughs> it's like, I'll, I'll be driving for now. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Looks like I'm coming forth. Might just kill myself now. Exactly. <laughs> He's sitting in for your off notes. It almost seems like a freestyle. Who well, it is? That's what jazz is. Jazz is you. You just play, and people just play alongside you. But well, when you when you create an album, there's obviously some structure towards it. You create a jazz album, isn't there? Mm, yeah, there is. There normally, yeah, normally jazz albums there is some structure, but there is a lot of interpretation. But also live jazz is mostly about right. starting from something familiar, and yeah. then you all just vibe with each other. Yeah. And everything you do, you just like you just play together so so much, so you just know what you just don't know what to do. So look, that's the beauty of jazz, man. Once you're live, it's like so much of it is just off the fly. It's beautiful. You just feel it. No, dude, I used, to, I used to go to jazz bars all the time when I was 19, 20, 21, like once a week. I loved it. Just by yourself, with friends? Uh, by myself most of the time, yeah. I really wanted to get a job at one, but I never could. Just because they never were looking. I was just like, imagine working at a jazz bar, just seeing a live jazz all the time, disturbing people. We should review some jazz artists, man. I mean, this is jazz right now, but in a structured album, maybe a short EP, yeah. I'd like to.
That was long. No shit. Most definitely was. So Andre 2000 and James Blake just gave us a piano, clarinet, jazz, 17 minute ensemble. I said eight minutes. Boy, was I wrong. I think the hip hop community might be a little disappointed, expecting something different. I disagree. But the jazz heads won't be. I think a lot of... Come on. The hip hop community community ex expecting Andre's bars, expecting something. That's very true. But you remember that a lot of people fuck with Kendrick Lamar's Pin Butterfly, which is mainly influenced by jazz. Yes. So there is a huge populace of hip hop community that dig this type of shit. And also... However, most of them aren't going to go listen yeah. to those instrumentals by themselves. No. Like, I could listen to this, the last Andre track. I probably want this to. This one I could listen to again. Yeah, put it in the background. Put in the background. Beautiful. I mean, there were a few times where he was a bit off key with the... I, I'm pretty sure it's a bassoon or an oboe. Correct me if I'm wrong, or a clarinet. It's one of those it's three clarinet. instruments. It's a clarinet. It's a clarinet? Yeah. Okay, okay. Very similar to bassoon. But, uh... Um... I got much, not much saying this. These, these two just, it just feels like Andre was just like, I did these, I did one track for my mother for Mother's Day. I, me and James Blake just, just jammed. I just want to put it out on SoundCloud for y'all to listen to. I like that. Yeah. I'm like going to down, download this and play it in the background. I think it's yeah. actually quite nice. I love hearing this in the background. Mm, it is very smooth, the background, man. Very relaxing. Make, just let your mind wander. And if you guys have any short, we're going to start off with maybe short um, jazz artists who made short EPs or albums under you know, 10 tracks, uh, we'd like to give them a listen. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, we're just like, short, don't give us any more 20 track <laughs> albums, man. No, because like a new genre, I want to be eased into it. An hour and 40. It's like finding a tiger in the wild. If you just never went to the wild, you never would have known it was there. You said it's like finding a tiger in the wild. You didn't find a tiger. But uh, Yeah, but that's the thing. If I never went in the wild, then I never would have known there would have been a tiger in the wild. All right, um, <laughs> we're, obviously we're done at this point. Uh, Jungle Beats, make sure you hit the subscribe button to hear more nonsense from the both of us. Um, we, I'm going to play this in the background now. This is going to be nice. Um, and yeah, we review the, uh, Andre's other track and we'll review whatever other shit he drops too. Dope human being, dope artist. Yeah, if he wants to start a cooking show, I'll review that. We should start a cooking show, Jungle Beats Cooking. Legit, I haven't I cooked thought about in this. four years. We but should just, like, do some shit in the kitchen. Obviously not this kitchen because... <laughs> We just cook up here, bro. <laughs> That'll go down well. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man. You know what I cook up? Money. You know what I cook up? Women. You know what I really cook up? Bullshit. A lot of that shit. Yo. They call me the greatest. Shout it, you're killing them hard with them lady pants. Simple elegance, looking better when you dance. Chest to the sun with a thoroughbred stance. You gallop to the rhythms of a native drum chant. Your granny must be Navajo. Your mama do rodeo. Your papa do the Savaro. I bite your ain't no antidotes. The red blouse do arouse. I come at you like a matador.